Hey YouTube, how's that we doing? This game we are playing in Diamond Elo. So it's not a normal game. First screen challengers. Don't even tell me I'm clickbaiting, okay? So we're playing in Diamond, pretty respectable ranked, and we're doing Pacifist TMO Challenge. What that means is I am gonna attempt to win a game without getting one singular kill. We're gonna be split pushing the entire game, messing with the enemy team, and we're versus an Olaf top lane. So it's gonna be very, very scary. And it's going to be hard, but I think we can get it done because split pushing is low-key broken. This will also show you off why macro is so important. So our build is going to be Holebreaker, of course. We're going to go Triforce for the Sheen proc and Rageblade for the attack speed. The Warmogs will be the icing on the cake to stay in battle the entire time. Of course, we have Teleport because we'll be splitting the entire game and Flash. And I went Spellbook so I can have more Summoner spells and get some windows fit in to try and end the game when I can. This lane, it's going to be a little scary because Olaf is a demon. Now, I'm, I'm going to do damage to him. I'm not doing a zero damage challenge. I'm just doing zero kills. I might pull the boss and die ten times, but a win is a win, right? So, that is what we're going to be doing here. And again, I'm doing it in diamonds, so this may or may not <coughs> be my 14th time trying this. Of course, I have Demolish. I have free boots for the gold. Futures Market, Cosmic Insight for more TPs. And Overgrowth to be a little more tanky. You can kind of go a lot of different ways with this setup. But I think a nice balance of tankiness and attack speed and damage. And, of course, Holebreaker is the way to go. Olaf's a very scary lane. So, like, this guy's walking at me and I'm shitting myself. Okay, I'm chilling here. I mean, this is fine. I'm going to waste a lot of time up there. It's like, there's no way they kill me ever here. So, I'm just chilling. I'm getting XP still. Nice. Good gank, bro. Nice level 3 gank. <laughs> Noob. That's fine. Grave should be able to uh, do his thing. Again, I can't get any kills, right? I don't mind if I get an assist or if I die. I'm just doing no kills. Grave's got... Graves is ahead now, which is beautiful, right? So, like, that's pretty good. You can get ganked to me, a pacifist. He didn't get the memo. <coughs> oh, so is Timo broken or what? Because that was like the easiest avoiding a gank in my life. Like I said, I wish I had an easier lane. Like if I had a Kale. <coughs> oh my god, sorry. If I had a Kale, I feel like I'd be a little less scared. But split pushing an Olaf sounds going to be really hard. But maybe we can get it done. The thing about split pushing is that you don't have to kill your laner, right? You just have to wait for them to group when they shouldn't. And then you punish really hard. I'm going to give him a love tap there, just to keep him honest. I don't want him to know that I'm not going to be getting any kills or team fighting. I want him to think I'm actually threatening that kind of stuff. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <coughs> Excuse me. We're just poking him to keep him honest. Don't want to miss any CS for it, though. Oh, oh no. Oh, I used my blind. Oh, I'm a beast. I'm him. <clears throat> okay, this is going great. We, didn't have, we don't even have to use our TP yet. Plus five. I was going to keep poking him and keeping him at bay here. Did you know he wants to do Olaf things? Listen, dude, I'm trying not to kill you. I'm trying not to kill this guy, and I could kill him right now if I had Ignite. I'm trying not to kill you, bro. Can you stop? <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm trying to not kill you, brother. Leave me alone. I'm going to TP. Teleport's broken. I get to use it now. We're rushing Holebreaker. Oh, you're such a rat. All right, I'll use my pox. I don't want to base. If he dies, he's going to kill me because I can't kill him. I can't even risk killing him. Don't do it, bro. Don't do it. I can't kill you. You could die me right now. Oh, no, no. I don't know. No, I didn't want. No, okay, 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 good, 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 good. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. He knows he's on to me. I can't kill him. I, I don't even want to try to kill him. That's okay. We shove out this wave, though. That's totally fine. Okay, we sh okay, here we go. I get the cannon. I don't miss those. Boom, what up? Massive. All right, we get the wave shoved. Beautiful. 
<clears throat> Very nice. Not too shabby. And like I said, tele dude, teleport's so broken. I'm so happy I get to use it. He went swoop these first. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I'm just going to hit that ghost back to lean, though. I don't think I buy a pot, right? Because we're never fighting. I just want a ghost back to lean to feel cool. I'm going to wait for him to push the wave anyway. See if we can find Nocturne. Okay. Knocked into Grubs, but he didn't go for our jungle. All right. <clears throat> Olaf has a kill. It's fine. He's up a little CS. All good. It's Olaf. Again, right? Split pushing? Split pushing just comes down to being opportunistic. Because if the Olaf is fed and he leaves top lane and I get turret, well, look at that. Fed Olaf doesn't matter if I get the base, if I kill the Nexus. <clears throat> Is this guy a maniac? Is he gonna dive me? Oh, he's gonna proxy. That's fine. Oh, that's beautiful. If you proxy and I proxy, that's exactly what I want. Hell yeah. I mean, he misses a tower play. That's really bad from him. Syndra, I think just let him do his thing. I, I, I think, buddy, I think you just go hold the turret. This is good for me. We don't have to interact with that young man. I think you hold mid lane. Let him farm. I'll farm too. This is what, exactly what I want, to be honest. This is really ideal for me. That's gotta sting. Nice. Sindra didn't miss a, a lot of CS, it doesn't look like. It's good. Oh, this is beautiful. This game will open up a lot when we get to the mid game. We can start doing side turrets. Okay, I'm down for assist though, right? I'll help my team. I'll give my team an assist. It's only fair. That Nocturne's not over here. Yeah, you got this, Graze. I can't risk taking the kill. I can't risk taking the kill. Good job. Yes, sir. I do that. The Olaf splitting, the Olaf uh, proxying there is just wild. I feel like he should want to kill me because, like, he's pretty strong right now. I'm not. I'm not. I'll take it though. Oh, we got a Demolish Brock. Yippee! Demolish Brock! Demolish Brock! Demolish Brock! Oh, let the party begin. I'm fed. I'm getting fed as hell. I would really love this plate. I think I can get it, too. Going for this wave is a little bit crazy, I reckon. I have Flash, though, if I had to burn it. I don't mind. That guy's fast. Okay. My fault. I'm dead. He popped the ghost on me. Okay, okay, okay. I messed up. I should flash that axe. Okay. Dude, Ghost is insane. What the frick is that? Ooh, I can buy my Holebreaker already. Five gold. Now if he leaves, we're looking good. Dude, he pops the Ghost and runs at me. What the frick is that about? Even I didn't expect that. He made, like... What is that? I needed to flash his Q. That's a stinky bug. We have an item, though. So now we can get to Kraken if he ever leaves. Is he... This guy's going to proxy the wave and stop me from getting the turret. Okay, so I'm going to have to fight him here. And I could kill him if um if I was allowed to. But we might have to fight him to get to the turret. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's great. I'm down for that. I like that he's proxying because I don't want to fight him either. Beautiful. Okay, hole breaker. Now we're going to start melting the turrets if he lets me. After five autos, you do boom damage. You do boom, boom, pow amounts of damage to the structure, right? Let's see, every fifth auto against uh, every fifth auto auto against champions, epic monsters deals damage and increase the blank against structures. So now we're just gonna be gaming the turrets. We need Olaf to stop coming top. Like that's gonna be the the main game plan. We're gonna be wiggling around the map. Oh my god, our bot lane just popped off. It looked like. We want to start wiggling. Ooh, we get some grubbies. That's nice. Little three piece. That helps. We that okay. So we only get three. That's okay though. I have my teleport still. 
This game's gonna really open up after like 14 minutes. I'll scare him. I'm gonna ignite him just to scare him. Scare him away. I'm not actually gonna fight him though. Well, with me playing, with me playing, you know, pacifistimo, grubs are gonna do work for me. Hey, with those boots, I'm gonna go berserkers. Ooh, did he actually leave? If he's in the bush, he's gonna kill me again. But if he's not, I, I might be able to smack around on the turret. I want to keep my five autos up. Okay, beautiful. Oh, I should have went smite for the cannon. Okay, if I can just get a couple autos on this turret, we're gonna crank it with the demolish proc. Reporting in. Oh my God, he's still here. Oh, I wish I could kill you, little rat. You're lucky I can't kill you. Expedition point cannon. You're lucky I can't kill you right now, you little rat. You love you son of a gun. You son of a gun. Should I ignite him just to get him scared? I get my coal off. Now we get a little more gold. If I was him, I'd probably just be sitting in that bush. I will, if he leaves for two seconds, we run down his turret. Okay, he left. We freaking gun down his turret here. I get the five autos. And then we'll probably go bottom, right? These first two games have sucked. I think it's primarily Minko's I get my attack speed too. Level. Get the attack speed off. Nine months staff. Oh baby. Hope Pop the game it. And life are treating you well. Let the fun begin. Boom. And I'm gone. All right, now we could probably teleport by do whatever we want. Well, I could just come back and teleport top and ignite him. Oh, my ignite's running off. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna ignite him here. Okay, I just need to burn my uh, my little spell book. I can base and hold the turret. I don't think he can run me down. That'd be wild if he does. We'll do that. We'll base and hold the turret. Get my berserkies. I, I this guy. If we were playing in Hilo, I think he runs me down here. I'm just gonna hope he doesn't. Nice. If that was a challenger Olaf, I'm pretty sure he just punched my head. He has ignites. He has an ult still. Dude, teleport's so good. It just, you get to do so much more. Okay, 14 minutes. We're going to start wiggling around the map. Because we want to look in for opportunities where we're not leaning Olaf, right? That's like the power of splitting. Is he ghost here? He does not. Yeah, that's fine. Let's chill. Hey, thanks for the sub, Neon. How you doing? Sup, sup. All right. I mean, we're, we're looking decent. I'm up a lot of gold. I have three plates. Well, I wouldn't say I'm up gold, but we're, we're chilling. We're there. I guess I'll buy whatever I want. I'm going to go try for a second for that little that spell blade bro. <laughs> the turret, 14 minutes is up. So now let the splitting begin. I'm going to go top for this way, but I really want to get to bottom. After he takes Drake, then I'll go bottom. He's out splitting me for now, but Olaf, you know, kind of a, a gamer champ in the early game, right? I was going to try and keep him honest here. Get him poked a little bit. Get him a little worried. I want to go bottom, though. Me bot. Because I can actually put in work since Drake's gone. Because they're, they're going to want to fight Herald. Me bot. Olaf's going to want to do Herald. I just go bottom and push. I'm letting her know. Nice. Look at the pings. Pings work. Jinx, go herald. You're supposed to go herald. It's, go, go mid. Go freaking top and mid. I got bottom. I got bottom. Ping, 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 ding dong, ding dong, ping pong. Dude, look how good pings work. They're OP. Now, Jinx doesn't want to lead me, so she probably wouldn't want to get out of here. Or they're going to come as four. But I'm pretty much sitting down here, and then as soon as they give me a window, boom, what up? We, we break we break the turrets. We break everything. I, I want to scare her. I want to auto her a little bit and scare her, but I want to not kill her. Ooh, nice try, nice try. I was close. She's staying, this little rat. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stay stealth here. I'm not going to kill her, right? I'm just going to scare her away. Just going to scare her. It's like a little rat with the cheese, right? Like, shoo shoo, I'm not gonna kill you, you just gotta scare you away so I can get your turret. Cause we can just eat her combo for a little bit, that's fine. I break this turret here for funsies. Like, we're just gonna walk out her scare her a little bit. Let the fun begin. Sindra's getting top turret, that's massive. 
I will admit it's way harder to do this when you can't kill people. Is Olaf gonna come down here? We're pretty far in. Olaf's top, okay. So we can just really hit this turret and, and put in work on it. Look at the hole breaker damage start to rain in. That's okay. Broke half the turret there. Again, just try and scare her again. Like, get off the cheese, pal. I push faster than Olaf, so we don't, if someone has to hold him. I don't want it, though. I want to get this bot turret. Someone's got to hold top, though. Cinder's dead. She has teleport. I think she'll be able to. I have teleport, too. Oh, crap. I just realized. I wonder if Jinx will stay. She will. Okay, I'll take my... I'll take the base. I'll take the base and come back. Maybe not. Maybe I'll, st maybe I'll stick around. We have two minutes till Drake spawns. Two minutes till we gotta head back top. All right, I'm just gonna scare her. I'm just gonna scare her. Oh shit, Nocturne's ulti. Okay, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We get it all, we have TP, we'll go right back bottom. We scare her, we scare her, that's fine. Opens up, no Nocturne ult, that's great. That's wonderful. We get our Sheen proc too. Beautiful, we get a kill. No nocturnal. No nocturnal, you can't do anything. I'll TP I'll TP back bottom and send it. That's good. This is also similar to the boss strat, right? Similar to the boss, where he um just rains terror and dies. The deads don't matter, right? Okay, I have a window here to push bottom. I'm gonna TP for it. Because we have a, a minute's a long time till Drake spawns. Pretty much whenever Olaf matches me, we flip-flop. So if Olaf ever comes at me, we go the other turret. Okay, Olaf's going bottom. I'm going to go top then. Because everybody else didn't be scared to match me, probably. In. I can't one one Olaf, but he's not going to be disciplined with his macro like I will be. I'll be disciplined. I'm not going to take this wave. Look, nobody's top lane at the moment. They can hold turrets. They can hold it. You can always hold the turret. It's chill. Drake's in 30 seconds. That's a long 30 seconds, right? So that's a I, that's a lot of time for me to get this top turret. Let's look at this window. There's a fat window here. I, I mean, honestly, I could end the game. Well, Olaf's probably going to base for me. So now Olaf has to come back to base. If he doesn't come back to base, I get the freaking turret. 700 gold is really good. And maybe we even threaten to end the game. Boom. Demolish, and then we hole break. And then we hole break. Boom. Sheen proc. They're going to have to respond. They're going to start panicking. Olaf will probably base. If Olaf doesn't base, I take this turret too. Where's Olaf? Where you at, buddy? Get a little passive proc. Oh, let the party begin. Open the gates. Look at the hole breaker. Sheen proc. Another Sheen proc. Olaf's not even basing. It's working! Okay, we got Nocturnal. That's fine. I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. I don't think he's he, I don't think he's worried about me killing him. Dude, he's committing, dude. I can kill you right now. Okay, thank you. See, that's Nocturne Ult and Flash. Like, look how much value that is. One silly dinky Drake. I I get Nocturne Ult and Flash. And we almost get the in him. And now, like, we're setting up our team. Look, this looks like a pretty solid fight for us. We'll get that, and then I'll start building the Rage Blade. Look at that. Look at that. You can see the value. You can see it. Me bot. Me bot. We just want to get the wave shoving. This Vigar should be scared of me. Look at that. Nocturne Flash ult. And I still got the turret. I almost got the inhib. I don't okay you got this Kate nice massive okay all right now I I'll continue our trek I just want to scare this guy again I just want to scare him run away little rat I'm just I'm literally just like scaring them <laughs> these little rats dude they could do Baron so easily Olaf's probably gonna stay down here and Nocturne's probably gonna come down here 
Yo, can we relax? That's okay, get Nocturne ult again. I don't want to kill you, bro. I don't want to kill you. Don't make me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. I don't think we get Baron. We have to be on top of it, but we got Nocturne ult again. That's fine. I had TP as well. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's okay not to get Baron. I go bottom with Teleport. I'm just going to rip it bottom and go. Because Olaf's going to want to hold... Olaf's going for this turret. I'm going to rip it bottom. Instead of playing defense, I'm going to play offense. I'm going to mess around and go smite and smite a cannon. All right. Ooh. I'm still going to rip it. I'm going to rip it. Just scare him, maybe. I'm pretty tanky. He can't kill me. So now we have a Vigar bottom. They're probably going to send five. That's gotta sting. This isn't a real opportunity. I can't actually take turret in front of Vigar and Nocturne. But we're just creating pressure. If Nocturne ults the team, then um, maybe I can go. We'll see. Maybe I can go sneak mid. Get that turret. <laughs> so there's Nocturne. I gotta I gotta wait for Vigar to get bored and leave. Yes, sir. That's okay. Got it got a ult. Maybe we kill him. You can't hit that. You can't hit that. Oh, I don't think we should be walking into oh no. Yeah, listen. Okay, no, no poison. Poison, no kill. Don't kill. Poison, no poison. No poison. I'm out. I gotta go. Yeah, I don't think walking into the Vigar cage as an ADC is the play. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't think that's gonna win the fight, personally. It was looking good until then. But I don't think we can do that as Caitlyn. There's two bottoms, so I'm gonna lickety split. That was looking good. I actually, like, I'm playing the pacifist challenge. I don't want to fight, but I low-key put in so much work that fight. Just scaring him. I don't want to kill. I don't want to kill you. Just scaring you. Little rat with your cheese. He should be basing, right? I have a pretty free run at the side lane for a second. Olaf could stop me. Mm. Yeah, they're going to come for Drake. I want to be top lane right now, but it's too late. Yeah, we're out. They're all going to be at Drake here. We should do Baron. We should do Baron right here. Trying to ping Syndra too. I have Smite. I have Smite. Yeah, rip it. They're at Drake. They're not paying attention. And when we get Baron, that's my time to shine, baby. I like the TP to help the team. I should, I'm going to I'm going to let him smite the Baron. I'm going to smite it first. Oh, this looks a little risky, doesn't it? We got Vigra. That's cool. I'm going to smite it now so he knows that I'm not trying to outsmite him. Nice. He misses his smite. Good job. Beautiful. Nice. He he lost smite to Olaf. Good job. Wonderful. You're a beast. Now he's probably going to blame somebody else. Who's he going to blame? He's He missed smite to Olaf. You you 1,200 damage. He does five. How do we miss smite? I'll die for the inhib, though. Getting this inhib will be good. Dude, how can you miss 1,200 damage is a lot. I get this in here, right? Hole breaker, hole breaks it. Nice. I die for it, but it's fine. Nice. We got in here. That's massive. How do you miss? Dude, 1,200 damage or 200? Ah, getting buried would make this so much easier. Oh, too bad. All right, let me, me go bottom. Got the inhib. Oh, that would have been big. That would have been massive. Uh-oh. I've seen Blitz Flash there. I have teleport. If nobody goes top, I can rip it top lane. I 
kind of want to rip a top lane too. I'll go Warmogs next so I can perma heal and stay on the battlefield. I'm ripping it top. Because then they're going to have to respond to me. Like if I go bottom and just take a team fight, that doesn't make any sense, right? So I go top here and they're going to have to respond. Oh, that attack speed feels nice. I mean, we have their ADC here. I'm going to flash and just scare her. Right? I'm just scaring her. All right. There's literally three here. So now my team shouldn't die, which is wonderful. This is good pressure. We got our ghost. So there's three top. I push. And they immediately spawn top as three. Blind that. Oh, hey, I walked into that. My bad. But at least my team's not dead, right? Because, you know, I have three top. So that's really good for the squad. Yeah, we'll keep pushing. I ain't scared. Okay, they're all mid. Four mid, one bottom. I'm going to shove it. We'll see how this goes. I wonder if my team will buy enough time. They were dead, but if they don't realize that they have to base, that's going to be really good. Viger's basing. That's fine. At least he bases. I'm going to base two, though, because I can't end. <laughs> She's pinging, but she didn't see Vigar base. Like, listen, buddy. Yeah, look at the little Vigar there. You just died, you, 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 you bean bag. Like, what do you mean, ping, ping, ping? You're dead. Oh, I'm going to go push bottom. If they didn't die, I could end the game, but you guys died. So, you know, what do you want from me? I go push bottom. You freaking ding dong. Oh, look at the hole breaker. Two minions? Is it my lucky day? The pressure, we're pressuring a lot. They're, they're sending two for me perma. You can see how effective split pushing can be. Now this game, like, you know, Again, I'm not going to, on this challenge, I'm not going to be out here calling all my team bad perma. But you may notice we're not good. You know what I'm saying? Oh. They're fighting. I'm going to keep pushing then. Okay. I'm just going to keep pushing. I can go sneak this turret while they're doing that. Oh, yeah. I'm going. I'm going for it. I might even mess around and get in him. I'm going to dive for this, but I think it will be fine. I think that's totally okay, because this is infinite pressure right here. Oh, Nocturne didn't ult me. Oh, we're going. We get in him. We for sure get in him. Oh, that's fine. I'll just... I'll I'll, I'll die, but I'll get, I'll get the turret at least. I might even get in him. And look, Vigar TP'd for me, so he's not killing my team. That's fine. We got turret. We got turret and a favorable team fight. That's the money. And we got teleport, by the way. Ola's pushing mid, though. He has no ult, either. He's got no ult. Absolutely massive. Ola taking mid and hip's really not that bad. Ooh, this is fat. I have TP. Wait. Oh, my God. This might work out really well at timing. Oh, beautiful. We got top and bot and hip. Oh, it's working. They got mid and hip. Nobody cares, right? Come on, baby! Come on, baby! We're doing it! That's massive! Olaf is there, though, guys, so... I'm going Warmogs next, so just so I can survive. Okay, so we go back to bottom. They do Baron, I go bottom. I have TP, but I think we just save it. Well, yeah... I mean, no, this strat is just, I mean, this is just fire. I'm I'm putting infinite pressure down. Like I said, literally, whenever I go top or bottom, they send three the entire game. Like, they've consistently sent three the entire game. Armed and ready. They're confused, and they're also pissed because we're smurfing it. I just want to scare Jinx away here. My ghost is going to run out, but that's okay. They should be able to do Baron. There's going to be at least two near me. There's two. The, both of their carriers are here. And Nocturne's hovering. Go get the, hit the freaking Baron. Go hit the Baron. Their carriers are here. They can't kill you. They can't hurt you. Nocturne's coming bottom too, so hit the Baron. We're staring at the map. Nocturne could ult me. They're, they're all bottom. Okay. Yo, can you guys hit the Baron? Because I'm on the run here. 
You guys hit the Baron. I'm on the fucking run. Do the Baron. Do it faster. Hit the Baron faster and stronger and harder. Do the Baron more. Wait, I can go end. I can go end. I can go end. We got Baron. V Vigar's still stalking me. He has no R, though. I don't want to die. I'm just a little boy. All right, I'm out. I got to save my Baron. It's fine. I still have teleport too. I'm gonna go rip it. Oh baby, you like that? Four of them come bottom. I don't die, and we get Baron, and we get Drake, and you can't tell me I'm not a beast. The pacifist challenge. You tell me I'm not carrying. All their carries were bot lane and Nocturne ult. Hello. You're telling me I'm trolling? I'm not. Look at that. Come on, baby. Come on. You can't tell me this isn't pod racing. And I got the bot in him the entire time, by the way. Get out, get out of here, you little rat. Warmog's gonna heal me. I just have to chill for a second. That's why I bought the Warmog, because I stay out forever. Look, heal, heal, heal. 213. Boom. Olaf, three seconds on Olaf. I'm getting this in him. Oh, baby. All right. What can I do here? Gray just got caught. That's fine. So we're just chilling. We cracked the base, so I would love to get this mid turret. I would love to get the mid in him, too. Hit this bad boy, baby. Do I go die for it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, ho, ho. there it is. The gates are open. Hey, I'm just going to head this way if you guys don't mind. Hey, you guys do that, but I'm just going to be over here if you need me. Let me know. Let me know. Hit, hit me on my pager. Yo, you guys do whatever you want, but I'll be... <laughs> hey, get my attack speed passive. Hey, you guys do your thing, but I'll be over here. What's up? What's up, baby? Passes challenge completed. The macro king. That's why they call me macro one. The absolute value. I'll kill a couple minions too. I want to make them suffer. The value. Oh, baby. This game was not easy. Again, we're playing in like diamonds. So these players aren't bad. We're not playing a normal, normal game. Plus 50. Woo! That is, that is fun. Dude, the macro genius. Let's check out the stats here on the turrets. Now, I'm not going to lie. That was really freaking hard. The early game, I'm not going to lie. I was doubting. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. I was getting a little worried. Oh, beautiful. I did eight. Dude, I did 18K damage somehow. I wasn't even trying. I was trying my best not to hit them. I was just chasing the rats away from my cheese. How much damage did we take? Because I was getting my ass beat. Second most on the team. What about damage to turrets? Here we go. Oh, 22k. There it is, baby. 22k. Oh, beautiful. GG. If you like having a little fun, if you like this kind of content, make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below. GG. <laughs> Despite losing to an AFK inting Teemo. Me AFK? Jesus, this Teemo is so good. <laughs> I'm zero six, baby. Dude, the value. You like that? GG. Make sure you like and subscribe. Holy crap, that was fun.